Back now with the 10 on your side, viewers concern about a horse. She says it hasn't looked healthy in a long time. And she wanted to help the horse's owner by taking the animal off his hands and giving it some loving care. But as you know, parting with something you love is never easy. Andy Fox now with a call to us about a horse named Rowdy. Andy? Tom and Anita, I'm going to tell you a story about a woman who finds what she thinks is a malnourished horse. She offers to buy the horse from the owner, who is a good man, to give the horse what she thinks is a better living, a greener pasture. She calls 10 on your side to help make that happen. Last Wednesday, we met Jackie Dunbar on West Neck Road looking for a horse she thinks is malnourished. Convince him to sell you the horse. That would be the best thing they could do. That's they what you want that. me to do. If you could do that, that would be a miracle. Jackie found Rowdy March 29th looking like this with 11 ribs showing. She would confront the owner who ordered her off his property. So two months later from a neighbor's property. Looks better than he did, but he's still not healthy by the ribs that you can see and by his withers being so thin and narrow. Dunbar called Virginia Beach Animal Control who ordered a licensed veterinarian to evaluate Rowdy and the owner followed the recommendations to change the horse to a senior food diet. No criminal violations were found. Rowdy! He actually had some pep in his step, which I'm glad to see. Dunbar also noticed what appears to be stagnant, dirty water. Hey, Cecil, Andy Fox here. We then called Rowdy's owner, Cecil Boggs, mentioned Dunbar's concerns, including the water. Later that day, we found Boggs refilling Rowdy's water trough. We asked Boggs to show us Rowdy, and on the way, we could tell that he really doesn't care for Jackie Dunbar. She said the horse looked bad. When she said the horse looked bad, I said, wow, that's an ugly statement. And this is Rowdy. We asked Mr. Boggs about Rowdy's ribs. Mr. Boggs, how did he get to look it, like that? It was from the last part of the winter. It's, it was cold. It was real cold, and he don't like You're not feeding him as much? Oh, oh, I feed him, but I, don't feed, I didn't feed him as much as he needed at the time. Well, you're going to do that from I'm now on. I'm doing this now. This is the veterinary services contract that followed the animal control investigation. It instructs Boggs to, among other items, give Rowdy access to hay all the time, a clean water bucket, increased feed, fixed teeth for more efficient eating. I should have been feeding him more. What a good boy. Which brings us back to Dunbar, who wants to give Rowdy a better home and has set up a GoFundMe page to do it. The problem is Dunbar and Boggs can't agree on price and Boggs keeps raising it and I offered him $500 for him. That 500 turns into 2,000, then $2,500. 10 on your side gets Dunbar and Boggs hooked up by phone. You still concerned about my horse? I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna let you have this horse for 2,500. We'll figure out a time we can meet. Is that fair? I fail. That's the end of that, 10 on your side. Three days later on Saturday, it's moving day for Rowdy. Jackie's daughter, Jillian, shows up with 2,500 in cash. Go ahead. Thank you, Cecil. I'll take good yeah. care of him for you, okay? Bless you. Thank you. Take Rowdy's taken down the road and offloaded at the East Coast Equestrian Training Center. A hundred acres of magnificent greener pastures for Rowdy, who joins about 54 other horses. But Rowdy is in a better place, and they Jillian credits 10 on your side for they making it happen. Wouldn't. So Andy called him and told him, you know, you, you told them that you were gonna, you were gonna sell him, and without him, I don't think that we would have brought Rowdy here and we're going to get this horse back to health and save him. Training center owner Sharon Golesh estimates Rowdy walked in there 300 pounds underweight. In three days, he'll be integrated with other horses with a gentle deworming process over a few days. If you're interested in the GoFundMe page, go online, click my story. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.